Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video of Forza Motorsport 4 as it's now in game on Xenia. Uh, this too, I have no idea how to install that yet, maybe we'll work that out uh, soon. But at the moment, I just want to show you uh, how well this game performs because you can get up to, um, oops, you can get up to like 60 FPS as well, it runs really well. Um, let's pick a car. Let's go Subaru. Or, hmm. I don't know what car to choose. Listen, let's go for, let's see, use GTR on a disc 2 or G. Let's go for this one, alright. So we'll take this. And we're going to go to the, let's, ooh, yeah. So the car showcases, uh, the car still doesn't render properly. But that's alright. Let's bump that up. Wind on. Alright. Uh, let's go for the. Let's go for the Nurburgring. Where's the Nur Nurburgring? There we go. <laughs> yeah, with this game, once you overtake all the AIs, um, usually it will hold 60 frames pretty well. Why is that in Fahrenheit? I don't know. Let's quickly fix that. Um, metric. Cool. Now, one issue as well at the moment. Uh, the skybox does not work yet. And you can't see out of your windscreen in cars in first person. Oh, well, this game runs pretty much fine. So they get overtake these cars first to get up to 60 frames. Because when there's AI cars in front of you, you really uh, the frame rate does die quite a bit. Oh. Once I overtake this guy in front, the game should run pretty smooth. Come on. I'm doing everything to try and get past him to get that smooth 60. There we go. And now that we're overtaken, now look at that frame rate. Pretty much 60 frames. I mean, the game doesn't render perfectly, but... Hey, it looks pretty good. And well, first person is just... You can't see out of it at the moment, but... I imagine that'll be fixed soon. It's probably one of the faster cars I've taken around this track. And it's really hard to tell. You get a good driving line with um, frame rate not being consistent, but being alright. And also, the road just does not render properly. So, you, just, you can't see like tire marks on the road which help guide you. Again, it's amazing how well this game performs. Considering how fast paced and intense this car is around this track. It's not your average default slow car. Now one thing I have to mention about uh, Forza Motorsport 3 and 4 
Uh, neither of them save at the moment due to profiles not being a thing. And also, um, if you do start up the game, it makes a temporary profile and you have to delete that every time you want to play this. Um, otherwise, it'll just say you tampered the profile with Crash. Here we go. Now we're getting some lead on the cars behind. And the Nurburgring is also quite a uh, difficult track with the number of bends it has. Like it's still a fast track, but it's also you've got to be very aware. At the moment we're locked at 30. We should hopefully get our arc up to 60 in a minute here. There we go. I mean, for an Xbox 360 game, this is probably one of the better looking games with, you know, a high fr a 60 frames frame rate as well. Considering how limited the Xbox 360's um, hardware was, this is alright how well this uh, performs. And I've still got a number of videos to uh, do about some games as well that are on uh, Xenia at the moment. And unfortunately, uh, Forza Motorsport 3 actually has quite a lot of performance issues. But number 4 here is pretty good at holding 60. And looks really good, apart from the sky and the road not rendering. Um, it looks really good. Well, the road does render just not properly, and the sky just doesn't render at all at the moment. Which looks really weird with the lighting and having a dark sky. If it was night time, like dark lighting, yeah, that sky would probably fit it, but at the moment, no, it just does not look right. But we'll get there. It's a matter of time before Xenia is, you know, perfect. And by matter of time, I mean probably a couple of years. The Xbox 360 is very complicated hardware, so this is very impressive. This car, so I think it's all-wheel drive, you can really get the power down coming out of bends and keeping that grip. When having a high-powered all-wheel drive car really does the job for, um, oh, new badge and title unlock. Awesome. Not like you can equip those really anyway. I mean, you can, but they're not going to save. Achievements don't work yet, but hopefully they'll be uh, working soon. And this is one of the few games that have really perfect and crisp audio. Some games do have slowed down, sped up audio, crackle audio. No audio, audio cuts in and out, some audio works, some doesn't. Sometimes audio is slowed down, sometimes it's sped up. In this game, for having you know a few visual glitches and no working saves, it's very, very uh, uh, well off compared to most of the games on the emulator at the moment. Considering this is also a fast paced game, because it's always loading textures and world as you're moving around, so... Very, very good. Ooh, it's a great improvement for Xenia. And we'll definitely expect much more to come out of this emulator over the years. Improvements in performance, more games. 
Who comes along straight away? When we get stuck at 30. That's a motorcycle outside. Boom. Oh, that's a first. The game crashed after the race. Um, haven't had that before, but okay. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Please like, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Yeah.